Hello, Holy Family Cross Country. Coach Lensmeyer here. Coming to you to talk to you today about motivation and inspiration. We have to look within ourselves for that motivation. I can give you words of inspiration. I can work to motivate you. But ultimately, that motivation comes from you. What do you want to achieve in the sport of cross country? So what you got to do is you got to set some goals. And the goals help to give you reason, purpose, and direction. All right, without any of those, you're just out there racking up some miles without any real direction or purpose. So I hope most of you, the purpose is to do well at the conference meet, hope it's to do well in the section meet, and for some of you, maybe to really shoot for that ultimate goal of making it to the state cross country meet. Some of you might even have after high school aspirations to continue running. There's some great opportunities out there for that. So goals, how do we set goals? What should our goals be? Our goals need to be realistic, all right? They need to be realistic for where you are right now. So some of you might need to set goals that are small. Some of you are gonna have big goals, all right? So I'm gonna suggest, at least in this video, that we start with this summer. What can we do this summer to get ready for the cross country season? So my suggestion is that we start with consecutive days. Let's see if we can get in seven days of training. Once we hit that seven days of training, let's set another goal, let's get another seven. All right, and then we're gonna continue on, 14, 21, 28, so on and so forth, all right? Those will help you achieve a lot of the goals that many of you are gonna have. Faster times, longer distance, and then those goals for conference sections, and then on to state. So we're gonna celebrate those consecutive days each week as you come to uh, summer training, all right? You can report those to Coach Ron. They can show up on your Strava. You can bring your logbook to practice and show us those consecutive days, and we're gonna recognize those throughout the summer. Cross country is the accumulation of those miles so that you can uh, perform and achieve at the level that you wanna perform and achieve at. So that's what the consecutive days are gonna help you with. Some of you might want to set goals about times and distances. You're welcome to do that. Uh, we just wanted to provide this video to inspire you to shoot for consecutive days. I'm going to hand this off to Coach Ron, and Ron's going to take it from here. Thank you, Coach Lensmeyer. This is Coach Hoffman coming at you again. Cross country is a wonderful sport for many reasons. But one of the things that I've grown to enjoy as both an athlete and the coach of the sport for many years is that there are multiple paths to success. Personal best times, personal best places, mileage run, and the feeling of accomplishment of something great, such as conquering a tough workout, making the top seven, being all conference, or qualifying for state are successes that can drive an individual to excel. Part of the philosophy of this program is that we will celebrate and reward our individual successes because they deserve to be celebrated. And we will be even more overjoyed when these individual successes can allow the team to do well. There are two paths to success, individual successes and team successes, and we will do our best to celebrate both of them. Not everyone can lead the pack. This requires a special and very unique individual. But when everyone on the team does the task that they are assigned to do, whether it's in a workout or most importantly, in a meet, the pack, or in this case, the team can not only survive, but it can thrive and accomplish great things together. Whether the task is to lead the pack or just simply to close the gap between the leader and the pack, everyone on the team has a job to do and it begins with a consistent approach to training the body and the mind. As we prepare to improve both in the next few weeks ahead, we will be asking each one of you, can you do what is asked of you to help our Holy Family Cross Country team move forward? To quote the great Michael Jordan, when the team shines, everyone shines. Now there are three levels of accomplishment for our Holy Family Summer Milestone program. First of all, we have the white t-shirt for 200 summer miles. Secondly, we have the green t-shirt. This is for 350 summer miles. 
Last but not least, and this is for our elite level runners, uh, this is the 500 mile summer t-shirt. And I, a little caveat with that is that this has only been earned by five people in the history of this program. That is something to aspire to. This program has already begun with the handing out of our summer training handbooks. Simply enter the mileage you've run on the pages of your summer training handbook to receive credit for the days you've run. If you do not have our summer training handbook, please contact Coach Lensmeyer or myself to receive this and begin logging your mileage, both at and away from our optional summer practices. We as coaches will give you the, you the athletes, the keys to success. It is up to you to start the engine. And remember, the harder you work, the more fortunate you become. All right, Holy Family Cross Country athletes, we're looking forward to seeing you during summer training and we're hoping for a wonderful, wonderful season. Set those goals and let's get them done. Looking forward to some great mileage that we can run together. Until then, keep on running and we'll see you on Monday. Whoosh!